Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com back at you today. Today's video review is going to be for the Cable Jive Dock Extender Cable for iPad, iPhone, and iPod. Okay guys, so um, really this is going to be very, very helpful Okay, if your cords are short or if you need to get to a longer area or if you have a dock that uh, you are using a case that your dock doesn't work in, you'll be able to use this. So go check out their website. It's www.cablejive.com. Um, we're going to give you all the details on this. I'm going to tell you how I use it mostly um, and I think you may be a little bit surprised. And we're going to do that over at the close-up camera, so let's go check it out now. Okay guys, so here we are at the close-up camera and we are looking at the Dock Extender by Cable Jive. Really a very simple product guys, you can go check this out. At <clears throat> You can go check this out at www.cablejive.com. Okay? And this comes in uh, two different lengths. It comes in a two foot, which this is, and it comes in a six foot. Now the two foot is $25.95, the six foot is $31.95. Now as you can see, it's designed to work with all skins, covers, and cases. So let's take it out of the box. And guys, here it is. It's a simple dock extender. Here's a two foot dock extender. Okay, and here is the uh, female, here is the male. So what you would do is you would obviously plug this into your uh, dock or your um, charging cable or your cigarette lighter cable or whatever. Okay? And then you would click this part into what I've got on here is I've got a Griffin reveal. And you would click it right into there. Now guys, it says it works with all cases, but as you can see here, it does kind of squish that, you know, so it is a little bit wide, um, which is a little bit odd. So like, for example, I was using my um, uncommon case. I really had to shove it in there hard to get it to click in there. So it says it works with all cases, but it is a little bit wide. As you can see, okay, here, this part is wide. I would have really liked to see this about half the size to really get into these uh, spots with these cases. So now this is an iPhone 4 case, I, I understand that. Um, and this was probably designed for the iPhone 3 3G, or 3GS. But anyway, it does its job, it gets in there. Okay, guys, where I use this most is in the car actually, because I have a coiled cigarette lighter adapter. Okay? And in my Honda Odyssey, the cigarette lighter is, or I shouldn't even call it a cigarette lighter, and there's no cigarette lighters anymore. The power is all the way down kind of on the floor, and where I have my phone mounted, it is up really high on the dashboard. So, you know, when I stretch that coil up there, it's always kind of pulling on the bottom of the phone. So what I do is I use this, this is two foot, and I extend the coiled cable a little bit, and it kind of takes some of the stress and pressure off. So this is really good if you need to um, use your phone with a, a case and it's not gonna fit in your dock. Uh, the Apple dock comes to mind, some of the other docks, the iHome docks maybe, but some of the other docks, especially with some of the thicker cases, uh, you're not able to get the, um, the 30 pin in there because the 30 pin isn't long enough, especially with the uncommon case. So guys, again, very simple concept, okay, and uh, it comes in two feet and six feet. This is the two foot, okay, the two foot is $25.95 plus tax and shipping, and the six foot is $31.95 plus tax and shipping. Guys, honestly, uh, I think that it's a little bit on the higher end price-wise, so uh, I would have liked to see these a little bit cheaper, but if it solves your problem, I guess that... Uh, Really, cost is no object if it does solve a problem that you're having. But, like I said, I would like to see these probably at, you know, 15 or $16 and, you know, $20 or $22. 25 and 31 just seems a little bit high for a dock extender cable. But anyway, um, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email. It's Tom Moshe at buymeaniphone.com. Uh, as always, follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash buymeaniphone. 
And now follow us on uh, Facebook, okay? Our Facebook page is obviously Buy Me an iPhone. You want to follow me personally on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash nerfsqueezer. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out, and I hope this uh, product solves a problem that you may have. And uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know. As always, thanks for watching. We appreciate all your support, and have a great day.